never done this before. That's good, you know. This is, you're you're getting your official videography license today. It's official. It's the life, really. You know, you got all this all this stuff wrong, all this working. You should just be on the tennis court all the time. I am on the tennis court all the yeah, time. Yeah, you. I was gonna say you're actually like leading the now. life of a WTA player. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to shoot a little content piece uh, on the serve. Definitely one of the secret weapons to uh, to developing a really good serve. Uh, actually, we're really lucky today. We got my buddy Sean uh, is in Ireland, actually. Just released a new film. And uh, so his house, he said, we are welcome to come by and shoot on his, his beautiful court. And I remember when I was, I started tennis at 16 and when I first started, we just got thrown right into the fire. We had to start playing matches pretty much immediately. So there's no time to really learn the correct way to serve. It's basically toss the ball up, hit it, and hope it goes in the box. When I finally decided I wanted to learn how to hit a really good serve, uh, I learned this drill that I'm gonna show you guys here in a sec, and it really sped up the learning process. All right, we've got the secret code here. Make sure nobody got that code at home, otherwise, um, the dogs will be released. The cutest um, dogs ever. <laughs> they are the cutest dogs. He's got a, like a pug factory up here, as you'll see. All right, we have arrived. Or a riven. Arrived, I think that's the word. Anyway, so let's head on over to the courts here. I'll show you exactly this drill that we're talking about. one catch and release and this drill is one of the most awesome drills I've ever seen for getting the coordination on your serve down to a science really and here's how it works before we get started though I want you to understand one position and that's what is commonly referred to as the trophy position because all those tennis trophies you see have the guy uh, standing like this on them. basically we've got our tossing arm up our hitting arm is comfortably away from the body with our arm kind of parallel to the ground also, notice how my hitting arm's wrist is rounded. My palm is actually facing downward. This is key because it's gonna allow us to snap our wrists and avoid pushing the ball when we start hitting it. I highly, highly, highly recommend the Continental Grip if you truly wanna develop your serve into a weapon. The frying pan grip is mostly for making eggs. Now as a disclaimer, this is not how your trophy position will look as your serve gets more and more advanced because of the coiling action that takes place. You'll necessarily have a little more of a slope in your shoulders and more tension in the body during the loading or the coiling phase, and we'll talk about that in a future video. But knowing this position, here's what we're gonna do to really get your coordination going. We're gonna toss the ball up and simultaneously begin moving your hitting arm into the trophy position. Then, leaving our hitting arm in the trophy position, we're going to catch the ball with our tossing hand. The reason this works really well is it takes all the pressure off of actually hitting the ball cleanly and focuses just on developing a consistent toss while learning the trophy position. Ultimately, the trophy position is a bit of a myth because the goal is to make your motion smooth and continuous, but most people never come close to a true trophy position, so this drill really helps with that. The other thing that this does is it promotes the reaching up of your tossing arm, which is critical for creating more of a coil and keeping your balance during the loading phase of your serve. The simplest way to think about this if, is if you have two tennis balls in your hands and you're simulating the movement, the two balls will stay on the same level up to about eye level or so. There are different rhythms and different timings. It's not one size fits all, but this is a simple way to think about it. So now with the racket again, we're coordinating the toss with the backswing into the trophy position, and we're just catching the ball. Now the toss is the single most important element of developing a consistent serve. And if you need help with your toss, if your toss is all over the ballpark, I have a couple of videos on the toss on my channel that you can check out that can really help you clean that up. You shouldn't have to be chasing the ball when you toss it. In fact, it should pretty much land back in your hand. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is repeat that process. So toss the ball up while moving into the trophy position, catch the ball, only this time you're gonna to toss the ball back up again 
And instead of catching it, you're just going to go ahead and hit the ball like this. So we toss the ball up as we bring our hitting arm into the trophy position, catch the ball, leave that hitting arm in the trophy position, toss the ball up again, and whack the ball. Whack being a technical term that I'm now officially trademarking. After you've done this a few times, go ahead and try your full serve without the catch in the middle, and you'll find your coordination has improved dramatically. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you as I enjoy making every video for you. Do me a favor and click the like button and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the next video so I know how I can help you out. Also, if you're interested in taking your serve to the next level, I've created a free training that you can grab. It's called the best serve drill ever. And it's a racketless drill that I learned from Sam Query's quote, coach, <laughs> Tim Schneibly. And it's all about developing a fluid, effortlessly powerful motion and really developing great consistency and rhythm all at the same time. And you can have that drill for free just by clicking the link, heading over to my website and grabbing it. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.